coming at you with all my might. It is might. How are you guys doing today? So I chose to put the Tusk Dual Sport Adventure tires on my F800 GS that I'm currently on right now. And one thing for certain with fall right here upon us, I can't, I honestly can't wait to try this thing out in the winter. And that's because I'm really, really, really considering doing studs. I know they do studs in other countries, so it's not a huge deal. You know, it's, it's been done before. It's just not popular here in the U.S. From what I've seen about people doing on these bikes, I'm sure there's a couple of them out there because that's where I got the idea from. But I'm actually considering getting, you know, the straight up the real studs uh, from gripstud.com, I believe it is. And they are tungsten carbide, so they're strong as heck. But the problem is they're like a dollar a piece. And they suggest like 100 studs per tire. So you're talking 200 bucks for a stud, and uh, yeah, that's pretty, pretty, pretty chunk of change. However, I when I replaced these tires, I took off my uh, Shinko 805s. Now, I'm not certain how I would like this front tire, like on the road, because it, you know, if you got the road with the wet, that's a knobby tire. Granted, you're gonna have studs in it, but I think I'm gonna switch back to my 805 and stud that at the front. I'm really impressed with the performance off-road of the Dual Sport Adventure tire in the rear, so I'm just gonna pick up another one of those and throw studs in that. I have like several people that said they'd be interested in buying my rear tire, my 705. Whether or not someone actually comes through, Depending on when this video goes out or so I currently don't know what I'm doing with that tire Like I said two people two people want it. No one has come forth to claim it But the nice thing about the Tusk Dual Sport Adventure tire is it's $53. It's $53 for a rear tire for this bike So I'm like, oh, yeah I can deal with $53 you, you grab a $53 tire slap a hundred dollars worth of studs in it and then go riding. Sounds like a brilliant idea, am I right? I'm not sure which stud length I'm gonna go for because there's like a lot of different choices and a lot of them, like you don't wanna go with too aggressive of a stud if you don't have it like, if you're doing still riding on the road because it's gonna, you're losing traction with the stud because it's picking the rubber off the road and the rubber needs the road or the, the yeah. Yeah, the rubber needs the road. So that's my plan for the 2020 winter season is to stud a set of tires so I can ride this off-road. Not necessarily off-road, but on-road during the winter. Yeah, I think it'd be pretty cool. There were several instances last year where I really could have used studs when we were off-road adventuring. So that's why I want to do that. And it's something, the, the studs should last as long as you don't rip them out. And they're pretty hard to rip out because they got like a fan blade on the back. So it really bites in and grips in. That one time when we went up, we had to turn around because the, the road was covered in ice and snow. And it wasn't that horrible, but the fact is, is someone took a truck and packed the main lanes down. So as soon as you touch them, they were just ice underneath this little layer of snow. And it would have been fun to go on that road still. So I really, really am looking forward to that. Hopefully we get some half decent snows this year. You know, something that snows and it lays in the... Uh, you know in the dirt areas like this so that's my plans once again thank you so much for watching if you want to support the channel the best thing you can do is share a video i really appreciate it but if you want to help monetarily i have a link to my dad's vinyl shop on ebay in the description also affiliate link to revzilla anything you buy there it supports the channel using that link and has no extra cost to you i just got whacked in the face but thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day and God bless.